Hi everyone, welcome, welcome. I decided to do some angel guidance today. It is Tuesday. Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. Let's see what's going on here. There we go. Hi, welcome. Hi. Mariah, beautiful name. Thanks for being here. We're gonna do um, a little bit of angel guidance and um, have some fun today. So, if you don't know who I am, my name is Crystal Doty. I am a life coach, an angel intuitive, and the author of this really amazing book here, What Would Angels Do? Now you guys, this is my first book. I have a second book that I have just published, and it is called Clarity for the Modern Mystics business edition. This is for any of you who are really into building and branding your business. Hi! Who, um, I'm pulling it up here so you guys can see what it looks like. If you have Kindle, you can get both of my books for free today. This is the last day. This is a um, kind of a campaign that I've been running for the last three days. And you can get both of these books for free. So I'm going to show you what the cover of the books look like. Um, just opening my Kindle here. So here we have, What Would Angels Do? This is the book that you wanna go and look on Kindle right now. It's called, whoops. My Kindle is weird. Oh my gosh, I have no idea. Oh, there it is. Clarity for the Modern Mystic Business Edition. Like I said, thank you. I'm gonna tell you guys all about my shirt in just a moment too. So you can also go to my website, clarityistheway.com, go to my books, and you can download both of those books for free today, today only, you guys. So you definitely want to get this. If you are someone who is what I call consider a modern mystic, if you are someone who really wants to use um, ancient um, you know, ways, using crystals, using visualization, using meditation, using you know, spiritual principles to build and brand your business, this is the book for you. I'm really passionate about helping the modern day mystic build and brand their businesses because we do business, in my opinion, the best way. We are honest. We treat our employees like gold. Um, and spiritual principles aren't just to be used behind closed doors. These are things that we can use in our business, in our relationships, with our health. So there's a whole series of books that will be coming out in that, in that realm for the modern day mystic. The first one, though, is the business edition. Um, I also teach you how to create several streams of income. So, uh, you know, that is a, a mystical way to live as well. So, go get those books, you guys. Um, hi! Now I want to tell you about this shirt. Uh, I didn't see Kaylin or Mignon on yet, but my really good friends have created their own um, business. And um, they're making these t-shirts, and I love it. It says, think it, say it, believe it, manifest it. So um, hopefully they come on in a minute to um, tell us how to how we can get a hold of more shirts like this. But I'm wearing this because I got this in the mail today and it lit me up. I'm like super happy about it. Um, I'm just gonna see really quick if I have that information for you guys. Okay, so I don't yet, but I will be able to tell you guys about their awesome clothing line probably in my next Periscope. So you guys, who wants to have some angel therapy and some angel guidance today? It is Tuesday, it is an intense week. We're heading up upon a full moon. We're also heading up upon, heading up? We're heading into Mercury retrograde. For those of you who don't know what Mercury retrograde is, I actually explained this in my um, business edition book because those of us who uh, you know, see clients who run a business of any sort, we like to, to kind of watch the trends of the marketplace. And this also includes how the planets affect the marketplace. So during Mercury retrograde, it's an often time kind of like a, a, a funny thing that astrologists and, and modern mystics laugh about because it's usually the time that communication issues come up. The phones don't work, you didn't get my phone call, I didn't see the fine print in that contract I signed. Um, you know, just little mishaps like that. You know, the, the fax machine isn't working. My computer went down. Those kind of things can happen during Mercury retrograde and misunderstandings can happen during Mercury retrograde. I usually tell people don't start, uh, don't sign any paperwork. <laughs> don't sign a partnership deal with somebody in the business world, you know, during Mercury retrograde because sometimes you won't, um, you know, you just won't get 
it just won't work out. There will be a, a, a tiff or a, a, a disagreement or something going on. So, um, and then of course, you know, the, the full moon is always just, you know, it kind of wreaks havoc on everybody. So, um, really intense week, you guys. So, I, therefore, I decided I'd stop in and just... I don't know, spread some love and, and give you guys some good insight from the angels. So I'm going to be using the cards from Dorian Virtue's Angel Therapy deck. And um, because I just, I really love this deck, just to, to pull one card and to get just a message from the, from that card. And then I'm also hearing that I'm going to be pulling a card from this deck as well. So we can see what Archangel is with us. Apparently there's an Archangel who would like to offer comfort. Now I do this like the law of attraction. If you're here and you are hearing this message, you are supposed to be hearing this message. And um, so I intend that, that this is for everybody that, that is here live or that listens to the replay. I'm now putting these on my uh, YouTube channel and um, on our Facebook group, Watch Me Rise, hashtag Watch Me Rise. So um, you might wanna join that group too. And I'm just letting that, ooh, look at me. Well, there's a lot of cards that wanna come up. Now, what's interesting is that one of these cards we pulled last time I did a reading for you guys, and it was Visualize Success. This is a big deal. So you guys aren't thinking big enough. You're not dreaming big enough. Oh, that's awesome, great. I'm glad that. So this says, see yourself doing well in this situation and have faith in a positive outcome. Now, I know that right now the energies are really daunting. We have a lot of stuff going on in the world. We have a lot of stuff going on in our government. We have a lot of stuff going on astrologically. And it's really hard to keep your sights set really high when you're so pulled in to stupid, minuscule, mundane things. I get it. Like, how am I supposed to be dreaming of you know being whatever it is that I want to be when I have this bill that's coming up that I have to pay or I have this drama of this relationship in my life or I have this illness that won't go away I get it I get it but you guys it takes no effort to dream and the angels need your dreams and in all reality you need your dreams when you stop dreaming you start dying and that's just how it goes when your life, when the mundane part of your life gets so loud that you cannot practice your mysticism, which is your dreaming, dreaming is part of it, I should say, you begin to die. And I have a lot of people that tell me, you know, when, they're, when I'm doing readings with them or coaching, I feel like I'm dying inside. And I'll say, when is the last time you dreamt that any part of you was urged to grow? When did you plant a seed in your life? And many of them can't sadly answer that very well. I can't remember, maybe it was when I was a child. So you started dying when you were a child, when after your childhood, what the hell? So start to dream again, start to plant those seeds of thought of what you want to feel, who you wanna be, who you wanna surround yourself, what you want your life to feel like. Get into the feeling of it and visualize it. Close your eyes and just, what is it you want? What is it you want? If you don't stay clear on that, you are going to drift with the wind everywhere that life pulls and pushes you. You're not here as a modern mystic to let life have its way with you. You're here to have your way with life. And it starts here first. If you guys want more insight on how to change your mind state so that you can deal with this life and begin to grow from those thought seeds, the kind of life that you want to have, get my book, What Would Angels Do? Literally, it will change your life because it hits so hard what the mind state changes have to be in order to change the life into what you want it to be. So visualize success. The other one is you're putting stuff in your body that's not okay. Now this, this, uh, card is talking about vegetarian and veganism, but it oftentimes comes up when there's just something that you're putting in your body that you shouldn't be. And I hate using the word should and shouldn't. For those of you who read my books, I tell you to get rid of that, that word altogether. But I am going to use it in this context because I'm really strong about how, we, or I feel strongly about how we treat our body. This says fresh organic fruits and vegetables give you a boost in high life force energy, which elevates your spiritual frequency. You guys, your, your body is a machine. It's a machine that runs on the kind of fuel that is food. 
And just if you were to put bad fuel in your car or the wrong kind of fuel into a machine, it wouldn't run right. And part of your body running right, you get this card all the time. Okay, sweetheart, you better look at it then, okay? Part of your machine running right is the ability to use your body, your machine, as an intuitive tool. Your body, when it's clean and clear and, it, and you've got a good relationship with your body, will tell you what it needs. It'll tell you if there's imminent danger. It will tell you if you can trust somebody or not. It'll tell you to get up and run. It'll tell you to stay down. It'll, your, your body's so freaking intelligent, but it can't communicate with you and it can't operate properly if you put shit in it. So stop doing that. This is your sign, especially if you keep getting this card. This is your sign. Start to heal the relationship between you and your body. Start to honor what it needs so that it can really give you what you what what kind of life you're here to to live. So here we are visualizing what we want. We can't get what we want if our body can't cooperate with us. If there's one thing that will ever stop stop you in your way, it's health problems. It's not having the energy to go after your dreams. It's it's feeling like you can't sleep at night. It's having digestive problems. It's having headaches or pain. So clear that up. Clear up the body issues. And this will happen. I'm dragging the hubby to feed me organic foods. Good. Awesome. I'm glad you're making those kind of changes, sweetheart. Okay, really quickly before my phone dies. <laughs> I didn't realize I had such a low battery when I started. Let's see who the Archangel of the day is, and then I will let you guys get back into your lives. You know, I know that a lot of the stuff I talk about here, I talk about a lot, and I know a lot of the stuff is stuff that you already know, but sometimes we need to hear it again and again, you know? Take back your power. Use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life. So first of all, you've got to pinpoint where you're losing power. You're losing power with anything that's upsetting you, making you angry, or stressing you out, or making you fearful on any level. So what is that thing that you've been worried about? What's that thing you've been stressed about? Now, taking back your power doesn't mean that you're not going to be engaging in that anymore. Let's say you're worried about a car that you need to get fixed. Taking back your power doesn't mean that you're not going to get your car fixed. It just means that energetically you're, you're going to stop worrying about it and you're going to start doing something about it. Perhaps you've got a relationship in your life or somebody that you've been stressed out or that, that, that's stressing you out. Right now. Right freaking now. Not later. Not when you have a moment to ohm in the corner. Not on your ride home from work in your car. Right now. I want you to take a deep breath. Take back your damn power. Don't ever give your power away to anybody. Nobody deserves your power. You do. So if someone's freaking you out, if somebody's stressing you out, I want you to just take it back. We hold our power here in our solar plexus. I want you to like flex your abdominal muscles and just give yourself some affirmations. Pump yourself up. I can handle this. That's my favorite one. I can handle this. I don't know how, but I can handle this. It wouldn't be in my face if I wasn't able to handle it. This person wouldn't be in my face if I wasn't able to handle them. I can handle this. I got this. I got this. I want you to say that. I got this. You're stressing out about money? Take your power back. I got this. I got this. I'm going to figure out how to make money. I'm going to figure out how to pay my bills. I'm going to figure out how to become a superstar. I'm going to figure out how to get my soulmate. I'm going to figure my body out, my health out. I'm gonna figure out how to make that dream happen. I've got this, okay? That's your mantra for today, you guys. It is Tuesday. It is the beginning of the week. You have so much time to make a lot of stuff happen. If you're following me on Snapchat, I'm giving you detailed um, advice all day long on how to make things happen today. I was talking about make a list. Make a list of everything you need to do. Make a list of everything that you wanna do, right? And you got this, right? So I want you to say it out loud with me. I got this. I got this. Taking my power back. I got this. Okay? You guys, think it, say it, believe it, manifest it. I am here to help you out. If you ever want to work with me, go to my website. I got this. Right. Woo! Um, Clarityisthewaycom I am I'm actually starting to not do one-on-one -on -one appointments anymore. 
I'm only doing packages. And what that means is that you can sign up for a package with me or my mentorship and work with me over a period of time. That's how I know we're gonna move. That's how I know we're gonna budge you. That's how I know where you're gonna make amazing changes in your life. Not just one little reading with me to get all the information and go out there and not do it. I'm talking about if you know that you've got three appointments with me, I'm gonna hold you accountable to make some massive moves in your life. If you're ready, dive in with me, you guys. I'm your girl, Crystal Doty. Uh, remember, clarity is power. You can live a life of grace and ease when you make powerful decisions based on clarity. My website, again, is Clarity is the Way. My books are free for today only. Go get them, you guys. Go get your life. I love you. Your angels love you. You are surrounded and never alone. Mwah! Angel blessings.